So I'd like to start with range of motion. Okay, so what I want you to do is um, bend your elbows all the way. Okay, any, any pain with that? No. Okay, and extending them all the way. Any problems there? Okay, once more, bending and extending all the way. Good. And now, with your elbows at 90 degrees, your thumb up, I want you to turn your wrist over, so thumb in as far as you can, and all the way out. Okay, no problems there? Yeah. Now I'd like to actually move uh, your elbow myself, and I just want you to turn that, okay? So I'm just going to bring it up. Okay, and let me know if there's any discomfort. Okay, and here, so... That's okay, no pain? No. Okay, good. And relax. So now I'd like to test the strength in your arms. So I'd like you to put your arms just like that, palms up. Good. So I'm going to try to push down. I want you to just hold it there. Okay, ready? And hold, hold, hold. Good. And keep it there. I'm going to try to push up now. Okay, ready? And hold, hold, hold. Good. Now I want you to put your thumbs up. And I'm going to try to turn your wrists up, so I want you to hold it right there, okay? <clears throat> Ready? And hold, hold, hold. Good. And I'm going to try to turn them in, so again, hold it right there. Ready? And hold, hold, hold. Good. Now, uh, I'm going to try the wrists, so I want you to put your fists like that and bring them up. Okay? And I'm going to try to bring them down, so keep them up, try to hold them up. Okay? Ready? And hold, hold. Hold, good, and flip it over, bring the wrists up, and one last one, I'm going to try to straighten it, I want you to hold it up, ready, and hold, 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 good. Okay, so now I'd like to test the sensation in your arms, I'm going to be using a pinwheel, um, maybe I'll have you roll up your sleeves, just to kind of expose that, that part of your shoulder. Good. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, stroke this lightly on your skin. And I want you to tell me if you feel the difference from one side to the other, okay? Yeah. So put your arm, uh, hands open. Good. And I'd like you to close your eyes, actually. So does this feel the same as this? Yes. Okay. And does this feel the same as this? Yes. And does this feel the same as this? Yes. And does this feel the same as this? And last one does this feel the same as this? Yes. So I like to do some reflexes. So I'm going to be using my reflex hammer. So I just want you to relax. Okay. So I just pull them up that way. Good. And just relax. And looking straight ahead, I'm going to tap on your, on your arm here. Good. And oh, yep, right there. <coughs> and just relax, so looking straight ahead. So here we have the right elbow, so this is the lateral side, and if we just turn it here, so this is the humerus, and right there is the lateral epicondyle, and coming off of it would be the, the lateral collateral lig ligament, or the radial collateral ligament, and also distal would be the radial head, okay, and you could even palpate the radial head when you supinate and pronate the forearm, you feel it rotating underneath your finger. Just distal to that would be the neck of the radius, 
and the annular ligament that goes around it. Uh, with the elbow relaxed, you can feel through the brachial radialis there, you can palpate the top of the radial head that way. This is the anticubital fossa, so that's where the top of the head of the radius would be. On this side, there is the uh, medial epicondyle, okay? Just posterior to that would be where the ulnar nerve runs. And then, of course, you can feel the olecranon there, the olecranon process. Just on top of that, or superficial to the olecranon process, would be olecranon bursa, okay? And then just relax your arm. So, on top, right, right in there would be the conoid process. <clears throat> we also have the biceps brachii on top, and then just inferior to that or deeper to that would be brachialis muscle.